BYD has unveiled their new Yang Wang supercar, and th this is insane. And this puts BYD's traditional standard version of this car, it makes it look slow. I mean, that sounds ridiculous, but it really does. 3,000 horsepower, and it's also lighter than the standard supercar. I actually think this puts Ferraris and Lamborghinis to shame. It will totally destroy them on any racetrack in the world. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. BYD have unveiled the Yangwang U902 test car with, well, just under 3,000 horsepower. It's a technological masterpiece. It has 2,220 kilowatt, which is 2,978 horsepower. BYD, funnily enough, says this is the world's strongest horsepower. Now, the truth is that doesn't really make sense because you can't have one horsepower that's stronger than another horsepower. One horsepower is just one horsepower. Now, I don't know why they said that. It's the most powerful car in the world. If that's what they were trying to say, then they were correct. So the U9, it's, um, well, this will be a track edition car. Can you drive it on the road? I'm not, I'm not even sure if you can or not, but I do know that it broke the global electric vehicle speed record doing 472.4 kilometers an hour during a track run. That means this is the fastest electric car ever driven on the road. There's some pretty cool technology developed for this car that I wasn't aware of when I did my last video. It is apparently the only mass produced 1200 volt ultra high voltage platform, 1200 volt. That is absolutely wild. This system enables electric motors to draw energy more, well, much more quickly from the battery. That's sometimes the bottleneck. Sometimes with EVs, you see they have big power and you think, why are they not fast? They should be faster. But the truth is that they can't actually use all that power because the battery is constrained by the architecture of the car, the voltage of the car. So complementing this architecture is BYD's E4 YC Fang platform, which uses the fastest spinning motors, electric motors in the world. They spin to 30,000 RPM. Now you probably hear sometimes uh, car enthusiasts will say, oh, that, that engine revs to 9,000 RPM. I'll tell them that electric motors can do it to 30,000. Each motor produces 555 kilowatt and only weighs around about 25 kilograms. Yeah, I mean, kind of puts internal combustion to shame, doesn't it? 555 kilowatt weighs 25 kilos. Total system output, as I mentioned earlier, means it has, because it has four of them, 2,220 kilowatt or 2,978 horsepower. So that means each motor has nearly 750 horsepower and there's four of them. Power to weight is unbelievable. Honestly, there's 1,200 horsepower per ton, which beats benchmarks from the Koenigsegg Jesco Absolute, which I believe costs about 7 million US dollars. It has 986 horsepower per ton. As you can see, this BYD supercar demolishes that in terms of horsepower per ton. And as a result, this thing is going to be damn scary to drive, I think, so fast that um, I kind of think of myself maybe potentially passing out with the kind of speed that this thing could produce. One thing it has going for it, and this is actually a pretty big deal. When you're talking at this kind of power, you need suspension and brakes that can handle this kind of power. It, of course, has carbon ceramic brakes, but it also has a new improved Dysus X intelligent active body control system. This tech dynamically adjusts the car's posture or the car's balance in real time. Remember the Mercedes-Benz S-Class, how it kind of leans into the road when it's going around a corner? It leans left if you're turning left around a corner. So it puts pressure on the left side of the car. That means it can get around corners much quicker. That's the kind of tech that BYD are using with their new suspension system. The U9 uses domestically developed high performance tires as well, designed for speeds of up to 500 kilometers an hour. They have semi slick construction and a wide tread. Car News China says that these tires 
expand the contact area with the road providing essential traction. Now the the non the non powerful version of this car that only has twelve hundred horsepower, the standard version, that lapped the Nurburgring in seven minutes and seventeen seconds. But I'd say considering this has nearly three times the power, it'll probably do it a lot, lot, lot faster than that. Maybe even forty seconds faster, meaning it would be the fastest production car in history to lap the Nurburgring. Now that hasn't happened yet, but I think it, it's very likely to do so. What else do we know about this car? Well, to be honest, not a whole lot more. We know that some of the body I've heard is constructed using carbon fiber, but this is a fairly heavy car. It weighs two and a half thousand kilograms. I mean, that's the one downside. It's got amazing technology, but it is fairly heavy. Now, the other, the other downside is, you know, um, if you're using it for racing purposes, you still got to charge it. I believe it has 1000 kilowatt fast charging. So that would mean in theory, you could charge the battery in around, around eight minutes. Now I know eight minutes is longer than the usual pit stop, but if you're looking at like something like a 24 hour race or something, this is doable. It could, it could be done. So I think legit, um, you know, proper performance supercars that are electric are completely here and they will disrupt internal combustion. I was recently at a supercar race while I was testing the ZK7X. I spoke to a number of auto executives and all of them were like, man, yeah, these are cool, but EVs are way faster. And eventually all these loud supercars will be replaced with electric motors that are completely silent or at least pretty quiet. Maybe they'll put out fake noises to make it sound exciting. I don't know. Guys, what are your thoughts? Thanks for watching. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you want to get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you got to do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day. Don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount.